All right, guys, so this video is going to be about my whips, or I'm just showing one in the picture here, but uh, sorry about my mess here. As you can see, I have a jumble of wires in here, and I'm getting everything kind of prepped to go to the desert this season. Uh, of course, I don't have like a lot of really cool stuff on, on this thing. The majority of my com com uh, concentration is not on my razor, um, like some of the other guys on the internet that really well they have no kids they have nothing like that but I got a lot of projects and a lot of things I do so it's tough for me to uh, first of all forward all the cool stuff I want for this thing but um, also just the time I, I really have no time I mean this is early I'm not so early in the morning but this is before the family's up with a long day yesterday soccer all kinds of stuff so anyway purpose of this video is not to talk about my life but to talk about these whips so if you have a setup like mine, where it's like it has a control module, so if you have a control module like this, it your whips won't hook up with a simple power ground and and, and hot. Uh, some of the whips out there will have their um, their control built into the base of the whip, and it'll give you some basic functions like change colors and stuff like that. But this company I went with that I got from uh, superbrightleds.com, um, their their whip is just robust. I mean, it's a very nice whip, and I just don't think they could fit the control module inside the whip without sacrificing some type of structure quality, I guess. So anyway, I did a little experimentation here. Um, so experiment with the four wires, and in reality, you don't have to experiment with it. You just match your colors up with your wires. What I'm talking about is the way this company, UTB Speed Inc, wired, pre, they pre-wired my cage so I didn't have to deal with anything and running it, trying to snake everything through. And they ran a four wire, I don't know if you could see that, but there's four wires in there. And anyway, the way they ran it in the back, I'll show you here. The way they ran this, these in the back is there's a, a black and a red and then there's a green and a white way over there. I don't know if you can see that, but I might get back a little bit more, but it's kind of tight in here. Anyway, so their their whole idea and premise was he's just gonna run a, a simple ground and, and hot, and in reality, that's not gonna work for me. So, what I'll have to do is, right back in there, uh, it actually comes in from over there and then goes this way, I believe or vice versa, I will have to yank the uh, wires through and see which which side it starts on as far as the main wire coming in, the four wire, which I think because it's on this side of the cage, which is right in here, and it comes over here, which is, you can see it's yanking from the passenger side. I'm assuming that they would have just snaked along the whole top rail here and then, and then shot over from there so I'll have to bust out my grommets in the back and see where either way you look at it I'm gonna have to snake and pull wires back one one way and when I do that I'm going to pull one of these connectors through the other way so that way I have one of these connectors that go to my whips on each side sticking out about so far and then instead of doing a simple one-way splice like this uh, or a four-way one way, whatever you want to call it, uh, four splices one way. I'm going to do four splices two ways, and that way they Y off, and I'll, I can run both of my whips. So I'll have essentially four wires on each of these uh, um, connectors right here. All four wires will come into something like on like this on the on the signal wire that's pre-wired on my my razor, but I'll have doubled up on on these wires. And another thing I'm doing is these whips come with a remote and all these remotes are are your basic Chinese remotes um, they all work on the same radio frequency you can't change it at all and they look like this and if you go out to the desert you're gonna see everyone and their mother has exactly that pretty much anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a simple rocker switch and let me see if I have my drawing somewhere laying around here. Probably not. The kids like to get into everything. So I don't know where my drawing is. 
but uh, what I will do is wire this whip up with a rocker switch and it's very simple plug and play you know you have your hot your ground and then out to so your hot your ground and out to your your light source or light whatever see I accidentally just touched the positive there which it's just basically arcing the switch but anyway you flip this on and now your your little whip is on and I can turn it on and off as I please with the remote and switch through all my modes and all that stuff and now I don't have to unplug these things every single night because what was happening is I would have to unplug them every night because someone in camp or someone driving by would have on these remotes and they like to kind of mess with people and turn them on and whatever and then there goes your battery if you already gone in for the night every the whole camp's in for the night someone's doing a crazy like you know one two o'clock night ride or whatever that that could happen and uh i used to party hardy all night you know until almost the sun came up and then get a few hours of sleep but with the kids now and everything it's a little different so anyway now i can shut this thing on and off with the switch kill power to it and i can't do anything with the remotes until you obviously supply power again so that's one little kind of workaround i'm going to do with that <clears throat> oh here's the uh so here's the drawing for it and every light's going to vary depending on your light you're going to have different setups depending on how many pins you have coming out of it and everything and it'll show you how to kind of wire those things up but uh yeah that's pretty much it for the whips uh in in this video I really don't have much more for it uh, for you, but I will be doing a video on my light bar. I still uh, I have wired everything up in here with my relay and stuff like that. I will get a eventually I'll get a fuse block to clean everything up uh, and kind of mount my relays underneath the, the, the fuse block so it kind of hides them. But I still have to run my wiring through, and it already came pre-wired. Like I said, the, the cage came pre-wired, and here's my light bar with light or I'm sorry, uh, wire. <clears throat> but I need to, I want to keep my Deutsch connector. So I'm at to run everything up and, you know, you guys get it. So I'll do a separate video on that because it's really cool, really bright. And hopefully I can get everything running and ready before desert season. That's all I got, guys. Later.